The return of Alex Salmon to the political fray has led to people saying to me, well, Nigel, it's like you, isn't it? He's doing the same thing you did when you launched the Brexit party back in the spring of 2019. Well, I would like to think that my reputation wasn't under quite as much of a cloud as Alex Salmon's currently is, although I suppose to the metropolitan elite, I was the devil. But my whole political career was about one thing. You know, I was there at the birth of the UK Independence Party and I fought for independence for all those decades to be outside of control and foreign domination, to be free to make our own decisions. Alex Ammon has been doing this for a decade longer than me and he too is fighting for independence. And Nicola Sturgeon is fighting for independence. That's the word they use all the time. The BBC uses it all the time. Everyone says it's about Scottish independence, but it's not. It's fake. It's a sham. And it needs to be completely and utterly exposed. Both of these characters are card-carrying EU fanatics. They want Scotland to be a member of the European Union. So out of the UK, but in the European Union. You can't be an independent country if you're in the European Union, because they make your laws and their courts decide what is right and what is wrong. And this is a complete and utter con that is being put upon the Scottish people. Now, I did try, going back seven or eight years, I tried to go up to Edinburgh, told the press I was coming, and my intention was to try and blow this word apart, to try and make people realise it wasn't independence. I was attacked by a mob in the street. It was pretty nasty. And I've got to tell you, these extreme Scott Nats are the real boot boys. I mean, they're not nice. And then the police came along and for my own safety, locked me in a pub. And a couple of the regulars said it was the most exciting thing that had happened for years. So my attempt to try and have a debate about what independence meant got nowhere. But the SNP is very, very split on this. Because if you really are a Scottish nationalist, you wouldn't want to be in the United Kingdom or indeed inside the European Union. Now, it's not something I support, but it would be at least an intellectually honest opinion. When the referendum came in 2014 about separating from the UK, Salmon really only got into trouble when it became clear that to rejoin the European Union would mean signing a treaty, committing Scotland to joining the Euro. And people looked at that and thought, Oof, no, thank you. We're not having any of it. And when the big referendum, the nationwide referendum came in 2016, a third of SNP voters voted Brexit, voted leave. So there's the potential there for a split, not just a split between Salmond and Sturgeon, but a split within the ranks of the nationalist movement. Now, I know there are some of you watching this in England who think, you know what, we're so bored with the Scots, we don't care if they go. But I would say this to you. If they are going to break away from the UK, if they are going to vote for what they think is independence, they jolly well ought to know that actually it isn't. They need to have the truth put before them. So I think there's a massive political opportunity here. And yet, nobody in Scotland is filling it, least of all the Scottish Conservatives. Why? Well, the Scottish Conservatives aren't even Conservative, aren't even vaguely Conservative. And of course, they're Remainers. Even Ruth Davidson, who led them for a bit, and, and certainly she had personality. But she was a Remainer, so she was never, ever able to attack the word independence because she didn't want the UK to have its independence. It's actually now a complete open goal. Sturgeon wanted Scotland to stay part of the EU vaccine programme. Sturgeon wanted Scotland to be part of the European Medicines Agency. If Sturgeon had had her way, Thousands more people would have died in Scotland. So what it needs for those that want to save the Union, what it needs is an outright attack on this total fake misuse of the word independence to cast doubt in the minds of nationalist voters. The divisions are there already. We can drive them even wider, making the Scottish people realise that whatever Salmon and Sturgeon are offering is not independence, is the way to save the Union. And I hope in Downing Street they listen and understand this message.